now leaving Belgium and uh, heading to Luxembourg and uh, I hope to do a bit of pack rafting I've uh, checked the maps and there's a river about four or five kilometers from here I'll probably camp up near the river tonight and then uh, then check it all out and see see what happens really so let's uh, go into my third country Well, the, uh, the trip's well and truly begun, hasn't it? I'm out here in the wild. Got a, a lovely running stream, which hopefully will become a river a bit further along so I can pack raft it. Uh, so welcome to my home for the night. A little bit of wild camping. Gotta love it, haven't you? I'm gonna get a fire going, get some food on, and I really, really, really want a coffee. Gotta love it. Gotta love it! While I'm camping in the wild, a nice water source right next door, I thought I'd try this little baby out. It's a soil water filter, water filter, sorry. Apparently you just fill up the bag, stick the filter on, put the tubey thing in, the empty bottle, and squeeze. How difficult can it be? So let's, uh, let's see what happens. Oh, there's water coming through. Hopefully it's drinkable. The moment of truth. It actually tastes really good. Lifesaver. Anyone who's ever followed any of my expeditions and adventures in the past will know that whenever I get the chance and the opportunity, I try and find food along the way. And this time, look what I found. Oh, Christmas has come early. So I'm gonna stock up on these and um, munch them as I go. Power is a massive, massive issue for me on all my adventures. In England, we just don't have the sunlight for solar to work. And now that I've got the sun, all my solar power chargers have um, failed on me. So what I've done is I've taken my solar panel and I made a few modifications. Let's just hope it works. <laughs> 